howdy howdy this is Clara Lawrence and I thought I would do something a little bit different than normal uh, this is my Artapalooza video that I put together while working on uh, I guess the other video of Artapalooza <laughs> let me start this over again so Tish Winters of the Artist Haven does a live video on every Wednesday that she calls Artapalooza and several invited artists are on this video doing art simultaneously. Any different kind of me, any, uh, my words are not coming out well. This is going to be entertaining, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, we work in whatever medium we feel comfortable with. She's open to all kinds of formats. Um, usually the video is about around an hour. And basically it's, it's like a bunch of friends getting together and just creating, giggling, sharing stories, sharing art stories on life, you know, in, in, interacting with the chat that's also going on. Uh, we've had as much as, I believe, five artists plus Tish. Sometimes Tish will do the, uh, I guess you can say producing <laughs> or directing. Um, sometimes she jumps in and she does art too. So... I don't know if you can call me a regular, but I'm on there uh, quite often. But today I decided I wanted to do alcohol ink, and I'm messing around with masking fluid right now. And if you're not familiar with masking fluid, it's a type of resist product. In other words, wherever the masking fluid goes, the ink will not go, so it'll leave a white line. And <laughs> what I'm doing here is I'm testing out this one area because there was a rather large blob and it will peel off like rubber cement. So unfortunately some of it was still liquidy and some of it was dry but it was enough to grip my finger so that when I pulled my finger up it came up with it and it just pulled the line so it's like well you go ahead and commit clean off the lines and just start some new lines over again. And that's what I'm doing now. So I'm just creating patterns um and interacting the lines with the dots just kind of having fun with the f and giving it a nice flow going on there um, a lot of these lines come from me working with quilting and quilting patterns that you would stitch into your finished quilt top and i really really like that part of it, creating the lines it's almost like a graffiti lines or pattern lines or lines you would see in landscaping and such uh, and I played a lot with very loose designs that worked with the flow of the fabric or some just you know that add some flow to begin with so I'm just hitting this with the dryer just to kind of dry it up and get it to the point where I can put alcohol ink on top of it so and of course I forgot my gloves <laughs> there's always something but um Tish will use a program and which we can all tap into but we have to use earbuds or headphones and such uh, in order to interact anyway so if you see that line going occasionally that's that's the headphone line and we're also I'm on my phone connected with her live going on which is on my right hand side or next to you'll see the tripod near my foot um, and then on the other tripod facing it in other words your view is I've stolen my husband's phone it's like let me borrow let me borrow it so that's what happens on these days that I do the um, Artapalooza reveals is I've used my husband's phone to video this at the same time because what happens with these lives and I want to share this stuff with you because it's just it's kind of a cool environment. Um, we'll have like a bunch of little videos within this lo bigger video. And occasionally Tish will pick a, an artist like artist A or artist B and we'll bring them up to full screen and then reduce it down. Uh, so you can't see the entire process in full screen the, the whole way. So I decided a while back it's like I wonder if if I can pull this off and do this at the same time and then just release my video the next day for for somebody who wanted to see the whole process and I, I got enough response that people seem to like it so 
as long as the hubby's okay with me snatching his phone every Wednesday, you know, that I'm on, I am going to keep doing it. <laughs> so here we go. So what I'm doing now is I'm just playing. Okay, so the masking, let me go back up a little bit. Masking fluid creates like a little bit of a lip or a ridge on there. So sometimes you can see that the alcohol and ink will actually follow that line. So it's up thick enough that if you blow from further away, you can actually direct it to follow the line. It's, it's hard to do, especially when I, I have so many super, super curvy lines in here that you know it'll easily jump that line and go into the next channel and that's okay i wasn't too worried about it because i picked colors that kind of blended together you know the purple obviously worked well with the with the uh the pink and the oranges and you know the yellow and the the blues and the greens work together and i wasn't fretting over the browns that were being created because i wasn't overworking it so it created a really nice brown and so what I'm doing now is I'm hitting it with a little bit of alcohol to create some kind of like some highlights in a way, uh, br bring out some more interest uh, instead of just doing a complete, complete wash. And occasionally I'll hit it with a little bit of the rainbow by uh, Malibu to throw in some shimmer here and there. But you can see I'm pushing it up and down that line a little bit and that grabs the other color that's underneath it and helps blend and incorporate it into the alcohol as well so that way everything works together and i'm just messing with it until it's like you know it tells me okay i think we're good we can stop here and sometimes it's hard to do this just to walk away <laughs> i think that's the biggest lesson in everybody's art life is when do you walk away And what was funny is later on in this video, I'm try I'm doing a close up, and it's like I know I put on so much of this rainbow, and for the life of me, I could not get the angle of the camera just right to show it off. And it's like, really, I put rainbow in there. I promise it should be sparkly. I couldn't get it to show up, no matter what I did. It's like, oh well. <laughs> and of course, then later on when I did my close up for this video to put in there, of course it shimmers. It's like. You know, when you got people watching, things just don't happen. <laughs> anyway, so I'm finishing this up and hitting it with a little bit of, again, a little bit of alcohol, creating some little highlight parts. And then what I'm going to do is give it an overall heating of the, the dryer really, really well. And I want to make sure it's very dry before I go to my next step. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about that now because you can obviously see it, you know, me saying more alcohol, less alcohol, you know, it gets redundant. But my next step after I'm all happy with this is to literally run outside with it and my UV spray. Uh, and that's the, the Krylon Matte UV spray because I want to hit it a few times, a couple different directions, real light coats. But... If I can do that before I peel up the masking fluid, it's so much better because it's take, it takes a little bit of muscle with your fingers. Not a lot, just a little bit, but it's enough that you're rubbing your finger across. And I, that was me just doing that real quick. I didn't figure you wanted to see a, an empty turntable for a long period of time. All right. So by doing that, it, it basically coats the resin that's on the masking fluid so that way you don't transfer it to your finger and then transfer it, transfer it back to that white area of the board that's now being exposed. And I did do that with my very first piece and I realized how much the, the, the finger would trans, uh, kind of smudge, it would smudge the ink. And so it was really kind of like, oh, the, instead of being really nice and vibrant and crisp white, it was not real, it wasn't real pretty and I was like, really disappointed by that and I thought hmm, I wonder if the spray will work and it works perfectly now the downside about it is you don't get the satisfying like let me pull up the line and it go completely across the board you still have to like you know co coax it along but you know that's all right it's the price you pay because you, your piece looks a lot better 
So it doesn't look like, you know, when I'm first putting this on and I'm putting these little bitty white dots everywhere that it's going to do a whole lot. Somebody just turned off all the lights. <laughs> That's what happens when you <laughs> live with <laughs> kids that have control over the light switches. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm putting on these little dots with the masking fluid. And you're like, eh, it's not going to do a whole lot. But when you pull them off after you have these intense colors, it really does look good. So another way you could create the same type of look is to go in after you've done your alcohol ink and you sealed it and possibly go in with a um, like a paint pen or something like that, like a white paint pen. So there's also that you can do that. Um, and in that case, you can work with whatever colors you wanted to work with. But in, I like doing the masking fluid. There's something about it that's satisfying. I don't know if it's a tactile thing. But it also gives that variation of lines and stuff. Sometimes I don't even mind the bumpy lines. And it's just a, it's a fun project. But the other thing I also like doing is afterwards adding the resin to it and playing with that bit of resin where you can add some different things to it to create that extra dimension to it. Bring it to life to the next level. So that's a lot of fun too. Oh, I got a good line there. <laughs> <laughs> That's always really satisfying. So during the uh, show, I was sharing this little story. Uh, we got a new ATV on our place. We've got uh, like 10 acres on our place. And we've had it for, what, 21 years now? And we bought an ATV immediately. And we had, it was a little workhorse. We had, you know, it has run for so long. But it basically it cropped out a couple of years ago a hubby has tried to fix it over and over and over again and we were barely able to keep it running and so we finally broke down it's like okay you know we need it because it is partially practical and also yeah it's a lot of fun well my son who's now 21 got this great idea about going into the property and using the tractor and cutting a path in the in the field in the pasture and so he's got this easy easy path with some straightaways that almost wraps around the whole property and then this other one that's like super windy with tons of curves in it it is so much fun and i have to admit we we did that so many times this weekend and giggles something fierce but um yeah it's the little things you do with family right and i'm looking at this with all the curves and wiggles and stuff like that i was like kind of reminds me of the path a little bit <laughs> so but you know when you're riding an ATV at higher speeds and you're going around the curves it is a full body contact sport you are leaning way to the right or leaning way to the left so and this new ATV okay it's got some speed to it so it's a lot of fun all right so I have just finished it up and I think we are good all right Ready for some close-ups? All right, so this is how this turned out. I'll zoom in. Okay. I've got some rainbow in there. So you're gonna see a slight shimmer here and there. Just depends on the angle, you can see it right, let's see, where's my finger in this thing? Whoop, right in that zone right there. Very nice warm blends and some cool blends, but very playful. I like the playful. Yeah. I think I might put some more shimmer in this with the resin coat that I put on top of this. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, 
but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. There y'all.